semen freezing is a process in modern living in modern lifestyle that makes a man ageless for procreation because if you have frozen your sperm your lifestyle change your modern living system your age is not going to hamper your reproduction so basically you should know what all is required before you are going for the semen freezing process so first and foremost try if you have got time in hand you are not a patient of cancer and you are not in a hurry to get it done so at least you should have a lifestyle good lifestyle for 72 days if you cannot maintain a good lifestyle always so for 72 days because the today the sample you are giving that sample has been made 72 days prior in your body so if 72 days prior you were drinking a lot you were smoking a lot so you have to stop that to have a good sample secondly you should be free of any infectious condition that time so your culture sample the semen also has got a culture sensitivity thing like a urine is get done so you have to get that done before you are going for your fit for a semen freezing process plus all your blood parameters whether you are suffering from any medical disorder whether you are having any viral diseases like hiv hepatitis b hepatitis c the blood group everything needs to be known by the embryologist who is freezing it the center which you have chosen for the this semen freezing has to be a reliable center because obviously might be you need to go to the place after five years ten years to take your sample back or to use that sample so in that case if that center doesn't exist people are not there you have gone to an unreliable center they won't be able to give you anything back so these things are very important to choose before you go for the semen freezing process if you are having like a carcinoma so you should try to get the semen frozen before the chemotherapy and the radiotherapy process starts fourthly if you are going for the surgery the uh, surgery for the cancer in that case also all your tests should be done and your you should discuss with your onco surgeon that they have a team for freezing on hold so that they can freeze your testicular tissue that is going to come out if they are going to take it out and parallelly you should have all your karyotypes and everything in hand so that it is ascertained that this sample can be used later on it is of value to be used later on plus before semen freezing it is very important to know so what is the semen analysis of the patient of the male because you should know that what is present in your semen how much was your count you should not have a false picture and you should always get your semen frozen multiple times means minimum three times because the vials should be ample in amount because what happens many times because as it is you know science is not a hundred percent process nothing is hundred percent in life so you should have backups ready means if one or two samples get awry they are not recovered properly we should have multiple vials in place if by any like god forbid but due to any natural calamities the samples go awry the cans go awry so if you have got multiple cans in the center in multiple places so there are chances that at least you will be you will be getting some fourthly whenever you are going to the center for the semen freezing you should have a gap of minimum two days or maximum six days but not more than six days not less than two days because it is very essential because it's not that only sexual intercourse should not have happened you should not have ejaculated altogether whether it be in masturbation whether it be in any form plus you should be very particular whenever you are giving the semen for freezing you cannot ejaculate in a condom because what happens it's a very common practice the male ejaculates in the condom and it pours the semen back in the container so that is not to be done because the condom usually is gametotoxic so these are some of the things that you need to maintain and plus you should always check with the center because you always have to renew your semen uh, that you have frozen so please be on your toes it is like an insurance policy you keep on paying for the insurance policy then only your policy is active so same is true for the semen freezing also so these are some of the points that needs to be kept in mind whenever you go for semen freezing and definitely then you have got your sample for lifelong and you can use it anytime it is not going to affect your fertility we care about you